Hi everybody, it's Claire back with another art journal video and in this one I'm just sharing with you, sorry can't speak, how I created this little um, tab book using Dina Wakeley's Collage Sparks and some of her brand new release. So I am using um, one of the stamps from this new stamp set called Grid It. Um, it's this really cool one. I mean there's just so many things you could do with this. Um, and I am going to start off by stamping it onto some of the collage sparks. I'm just selecting some ones that haven't got too much bold colour on them. So I'm going to use black archival ink um, to stamp onto this so I can pop it onto the collage sparks. The reason for the archival ink is that it, once it's dry, it's waterproof, it won't move anywhere. Um, and I was planning to add some bright colours to these backgrounds um, so they fit perfectly on the collage sparks as you can see I'm going to stamp on the front and back of all of them except the one that will become the back page and I'm going to be using a really simple tab binding method which um, I do show and if you pause while you're making it if you want to use that you it will um, explain how to do it and um, so yeah I've popped the stamp onto an acrylic block just to make stamping this a little bit easier so I can um, get a better uh, print. I'm not always very good at stamping but you can see there I've got one on the front and the back of each of these collage sparks and then I am grabbing lots of bright colours and I'm just going to start playing by adding some colours into uh, these boxes. I mean this would make a great uh, swatching uh, stamp so um, it would be a good one to use for that just sort of my brain's now going mm, ideas so yeah I'm just going in with some rainbow colors no surprises there um, the usual suspects are being used um, and I'm just playing really and just adding some color onto these collage sparks so one of the joys of using the collage sparks is that you've got those backgrounds ready made there's already interest in the background and lots of mark making um, so you can kind of you know just get dive straight in you've got that background uh, ready done sorry about the thumbs down I don't know why I did that I still thought I'd switch that off I keep checking and no apparently not so just washing my brush in between each um, colour and I'm just going to work my way through all the rainbow colours and add them onto my Collage Spark cards. Um, I love Dina's paints because they are a heavy, lovely heavy body acrylic so they are fairly opaque. Um, not completely opaque but they're fairly opaque compared to other acrylic paints that I do use. Um, Dina's are definitely my favourite ones. I do like that quality about them that they're quite um, thick when you put them on and you can get a really lovely coverage as long as your brush isn't too wet. I think that might have been malachite that I've added in there. So I've used ruby tangerine, lemon lime, malachite and um, that looks like raspberry which doesn't it, it just works so nicely. It even works nicely at the other end of the rainbow with um, before coming before Ruby, it works well there too. So, oh, I just love it. Um, this is Iris, again, another one of my faves. Um, and I like just having lots of fun adding all these colours. I could have continued all the way down to the bottom of this uh, page, but I knew that I was going to do a bit of masking over the top. Um, and I have yet to, still to finish this little booklet and add some um, pieces into it. Um, I kind of hit a brick wall with it and thought, oh, I'm just going to leave it, step away and put it to one side for a bit and show you how I created the little booklet. Um, and then at some point I'll come back and um, and finish it off and show you how it came together when it was finished. But it was a really fun little uh, book to create um, and the collage sparks, they just make it so easy. Um, then I think this is probably Blackberry. Yeah, really pretty colours. Um, and I think that's where I left it. So I did add the cut these colours on the front and back of all of these cards. Um, and then I have to apologise because I forgot to record this bit. I don't know why. I've used one of the branches Redux um, masks for this and an old stamp set from Dina called Scribbled Branches and stamped some of those on as well. Um, 
yeah so apologies that I didn't record that but you can see how I've used white paint and that's just calmed that background down and just we've got those little glimpses of colour then I've got a piece of uh, sticky back canvas tape I've stamped some dots onto it and then I'm cutting it into little pieces these are going to be what I'm going to stick my pages together with um, so I'm doing the tab binding method it's so easy so three tabs on your first piece um, this tape's fabulous because obviously it's already sticky. You don't need to get any glue out. It's nice and easy to use. Um, and I'm going to space these tabs out. So there's one at either end and one in the middle. Um, and then pop that upside down on my desk. And then lining up my um, other card, I can slot those two on that one um, into place. So they're in between the first tabs. Then lay them on top of each other and fold the first tabs over your second piece of um, collage sparks like this. So you've got some tabs peeking through. Then you're going to go back to three tabs on this one. So line it up and stick the tabs in place um, and then pop them back to back and fold the tabs from behind over the top. It's, it's so easy. Once you get into a rhythm, it's a really easy process to follow. Um, yeah, so you can always just pause this if it's kind of uh, going too fast. Um, don't overthink it. I always do and I always get myself in a bit of a pickle like, uh, where am I at? Um, just go with it. Go with the flow. It's fine. Then I'm just going to fold those the two over this page. Nearly got the wrong one there. Um, OK, and then we're back to the next one with two tabs on. So you just follow that until you get to your last page. And then obviously you don't need to add um, more tabs onto that. You can just pop it on top and fold the remaining tabs over and it should um, fasten that last page in place. So it's a super easy book structure to make. It's really simple. Um, and then I've used some of the pocket circle faces and I'm just going to put those on as little tabs on the edge of my pages. Um, they work really nice. I've got these little faces peeping out and I'm just stapling those in place um, just for being quick, really. Um, yeah, so that's as far as I got with this little structure. Um, I haven't added anything else to it yet. I might not even bother. I mean, I, I do just, I quite like it as it is. Um, but yeah, I'm just going to put it to one side and have a ponder and see where it goes from here. So thanks for watching. I hope you've enjoyed the video. Um, and come back again for some more inspiration using Dina's new release. <laughs>